morning, you two. Jean, mm -hmm. how you doing? I've been a fan for a long time. Well, thank you. Welcome. Through the span of your career, I know you've worked with various actors and actresses from uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Kevin Costner, Gwyneth Paltrow, Ma Michael Douglas. As a matter of fact, it's 30 year anniversary for Baker's in Basic Instinct, isn't it? I think it is. I believe That's it is. That's a hard number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like working with Chris Pratt? Um, well, you mentioned all of these really incredibly talented people, and Chris is like right up there with them. He's just one of our greats. And um, I think he was spreading his wings dramatically in this, and I think everybody's going to be really, uh, I, I don't want to say pleasantly surprised, because it's really some pretty tough subject matter, and there are some scenes, there were a couple of scenes that, that even I, a seasoned a uh, movie watcher, series watcher, I was just, wow, this is, um, he is going to some depths there. So um, I, I was proud to be a, a part of this and to watch him grow. And I mean, LaMonica and I've been talking about him all day. He's just been this, uh, he's a leader. Uh, you know, he's producing on this and, and he's just a, a leader, a born leader. Agreed. LaMonica, um, there was a scene where you were standing on the beach with a bunch of soldiers and you were referring to support systems and, you know, having people there by your side to make sure you don't fall. Growing up, there was a saying where you said it took a community to raise a family. Yeah. Nowadays, it doesn't really seem like the community is raising a family and, and individuals are left to hold the burden on their own, similar to how the scene ended with you along with the handicap. Do you believe in life that it no longer, that more individuals are now left holding the burden on their own without the support of their friends and family in the community? I think that's a yes uh, to answer that. And I think it's a loaded question. There's a bunch of different reasons and a bunch of different, we're in the age of social media now. Uh, it, it's just, it's a lot to tackle. But I think, yeah, to answer your question, it, it's very true. And you need a brotherhood. You need people around you. You need, you know, people you can lean on. And it seems like we're getting further apart instead of closer together to have that community. Agree. Gene, you're from Oklahoma, right? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the first things as a child that I learned about Oklahoma was Oklahoma, where the wind passes through the the plane, I believe is, is that sweeping down the plane. Down the plane, the waving the the waving wheat sure smells sweet. That's right. Uh, the second thing that I learned as a child about Oklahoma was Black Wall Street. Yes. And the race white riots that happened, uh, I think, about one hundred and one years ago. Mm -hmm. As a child, what was the extent of your knowledge? when it came to the Tulsa race riot ma massacres? Nothing. We were not taught it in schools. I actually did not know that it had happened until I moved to New York. I think it was 92, 93, 1993, 94. And it was, there was a story that was on the cover of the New York Times about it. And I, I read it and I couldn't believe it. I called home, I said, did you know this? You know, my mother didn't know about it. The triple horns, my father's side of the family, my grandfather, you know, talked about it. He was, they lived downtown where it happened and he was a little boy when it happened and he remembers the smoke and, and the fire. But no, um, hopefully we're trying to make reparations and trying to, you know, let it not be lost. Of course, it's not going to be lost at this point. It's just, it was so um, horrific. And, um, but yeah, I did not, did not grow up with any knowledge of it. Hmm. Okay. Well, Jean and Lamarca, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And I really enjoyed the series and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.